Hi guys, my name is Enzo. And I'm Gabby. And welcome to Homeschool, Homeschool TV. TV. Finally, a YouTube channel dedicated to inform, influence, and inspire you to homeschool. I hope you're excited to watch what we have in store for you. So stick around, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Check out our segment featuring homeschooling families. Discover why they chose to homeschool and learn from their homeschooling experience. We invited families with diverse backgrounds, including those who are both new and experienced in homeschooling. That's right, Enzo. So we are combining our efforts to help bring you a show by homeschoolers for homeschoolers to help guide you on every step of your homeschooling journey. Joy and I are going to help talk about family values that are so important in the homeschooling journey. Values you can use or values. And don't miss out on great answers. We'll be shedding some light on topics like academic planning and teaching methods. And to complete your homeschooling experience, catch out of the box for materials that are both educational and fun! So for all of you watching right now, welcome to Homeschool Life. Alright, let us start with our very first featured family on Homeschool Life. Hi, I'm Jesse Tan. And I'm Kat. We have six kids. And we've been homeschooling for five years. At first, I was hesitant because um, we have three kids and I'm pregnant that time with my fourth. Tapos, nahihirapan ako dun sa three kids ko eh. I don't know how to manage talaga yung kids. Early kaming nagka-baby. So, and nobody's teaching us how to do parenting. Iniisip ko, sabi ko, mga nganak ako, paano ko gagawin na tuturuan ko yung kids ko at the same time, nag-aalaga ako ng baby namin. Hmm. Isang naging deciding factor namin nung matan kami ng Homeschool 101 na merong mga speaker. Meron dun sang story na about sa anak niya na when they go to toy store, may nagtatanong sa kanya, bakit, bakit ganyan ka ka passionate sa ginagawa mo? Paano ka naging successful? Sabi niya kasi, pag pumupunta kami sa toy store before, dinadala siya ng tatay niya. And then, paglabas niya, hindi siya nagpapabili ng kahit ano. Kasi paglabas niya, punong-puno daw yung kamay niya. Hawak-hawak pa niya yung kamay ng tatay niya. Nung narinig ko yun, sabi ko, gusto ko yun. Gusto ko yun. So, ko ibigay yung quality time sa anak ko. At first, grabe, sobra yung, yung iyakan. Halos everyday, nag-iiyakan sila. Tapos, halos mag-give up na kami. Talaga napakahirap. Until we learned about dun sa book na Achieving True Success na we should build character first. So, nag-focus kami sa obedience. Kasi at that time, napapafocus kami dun sa late na kami, hindi pa kami tapos. So, tinanggal namin yung pressure. Tinanggal namin yung pressure and focus on character building. Pero nung dumating sa point na I agreed with my husband na we will homeschool our kids, I give my whole heart na, ayun, naiyak na ako, na I will, wala na akong choice. Ito na yun eh, kasi i-embrace ko siya. Kasi minsan pag meron ako nakakausap na ibang mommies na mag-homeschool sila, um, sabi nila na ito lang muna yung bibilin kong books para para kung sakaling hindi naman mag-okay mag sa amin, um, babalik ako sa traditional. Yeah, oo, given naman talaga na sabi nila uh, na it will not work for everyone. Pero if you give your everything wholeheartedly, you will embrace homeschooling. So kami, we decided na uh, mag-homeschool tayo. Wala na tayo ng option. And so, there is nothing easy talaga. Okay. Mahirap siya. Yung first and second year ko, um, umiiyak ako palagi. Pero hindi ko sabihin hindi na ako umiiyak ngayon. Hanggang ngayon, nahihirapan pa rin ako. Frustrations pa rin. Oh, may frustrations pa rin. Pero as they grow, as our children grow up, and nakikita namin yung fruit 
ng homeschooling changes. namin, yung changes sa kanila, walang kahit na anong pwedeng ipalit doon. Kahit yung masasabi ng iba na pinakamagandang school in the whole world, siguro hindi mabibigay yun sa anak namin. Kasi kami as parents, kami yung makakapagbigay noon. Of course, with God's guidance. Pinag-aaralan namin, tiyatry namin na gawin. Kasi before, pag may pinapagawa kami, tinitingnan namin na kung ano ba yung problema ng anak namin. Bakit sila ganun, bakit sila ganyan. Pero dito namin natutunan na kami pala dapat talaga yung kailangan mag-adjust at magbago. So, sila parang mirror lang ng kung ano yung nakikita nila sa amin. So, actually, si God yung mas nag-work sa buhay namin, hindi sa buhay nila. When you homeschool, um, um, tinuturuan din kami as parents. Um, in-equip din kami ng homeschool provider namin. When it comes to academics, um, yung share kami ng subjects ng husband ko. Yung mga subjects na pang all levels, husband ko yung nagtuturo. And then, isa ako sa mga student niya doon. Actually, nag enjoy lang kami doon. Pag binabasa namin yung story, nandun kami lahat sa isang area. Kahit yung mga anak ko, excited na, pagod na. Minsan pagod na ako mag magbasa. Pero sila ayaw pa nila mag-stop kasi gusto nila marinig kasi nagtatawanan kami. Yun yung magandang part na na-realize na, na namin na tumatakbo day by day na yung academics parang sumusunod na lang. And then yung bonding namin, yung time namin together. Parang lahat ng gagawin namin, everyday ng life namin, um, homeschool. Kasi homeschooling is not just parang 9 to 12 schedule ninyo na mag-homeschool kayo. Homeschooling is actually 24 hours. Kami, nag-start din kami na wala kaming setup at home kasi we can do it naman on our living room, on our dining area. Yung kids namin, kahit may homeschool room kami, minsan mas feel nilang mag-homeschool, gumawa ng... Nakadapa sa floor. Nakadapa sa floor, <laughs> sa bed nila, nag enjoy sila. Ang important talaga is nag enjoy sila. Kasi ganun naman talaga yung life eh. All about experiences na kami as parents, We let them experience, pero nandito kami para i-guide sila. And direct na, na naming experience and explanation from us, malaking bagay yun sa homeschooling namin. And from that, we were able to prepare them. Kasi intentional talaga eh. Intentional be, being a father na talagang magbigay ng time and talagang kailangan namin magtulungan mag-asawa. Pero prayers. Talagang malaking bagay yung prayers dun sa life namin. So for us, homeschooling, ito talaga yung pinakamagandang nangyari sa buhay namin. We always thank God every day for giving us the opportunity to homeschool our kids. Even if you are working or not, even if you are a housewife or not, lalo na kami, um, we're homeschooling for five years. And then I realized, I just gave birth on our six. I just realized, sabi ko, bakit hindi ko naisip na parang... Ito yung last baby namin. So, ibig sabihin, for 16 years, mag-homeschool pa ako. Parang din ko na-realize na yung kids pala namin, pwede namin silang hatiin sa first batch and second batch. And dahil we trained them or already, yung first batch namin, yung mga kuya nila, kung saan sila, kung ano yung forte nila. For example, yung second ko is magaling siya sa math. So, he's the one who's teaching math dun sa fourth ko. Tapos yung isa magaling sa, sa science. So, he's the one who's teaching about science. But if I have time and hindi naman ako need ng baby ko, I will be the one who's teaching them. And when they reach the age of grade 4, grade 5, grade 6, ano na eh, um, they can do it on their own. You have to guide them na lang if they have questions. So, so sobra, si, sobrang easy na, sobrang easy <laughs> na mahirap. Knowledge lang yan. Ang pinaka-important is yung character. Yun yung best thing about and unique about homeschooling. On today's Values episode, Obedience. Welcome to Values, Values You Can Use. Why in the world come up with a program or a segment like this? Well, we realize in parenting and in homeschooling, values are key. And the first value we're going to talk about is obedience. I mean, this is the foundation when it comes to homeschooling. People ask me, how are you able to homeschool five kids? And the answer is, you need to ingrain obedience in right. their hearts. <laughs> the Bible says, Ephesians 6.1, 
children, obey your parents in the Lord. And it goes on to talk about how this is a promise or a, a command that has a blessing attached to it. So we tell our children, children, obedience brings blessing. We instill this early on because as Joy said, without obedience, can you imagine homeschooling children, one, two, three, four, or in our case, five kids? Mm -hmm. and, and when they're really young, we start off by disciplining them through spanking. And then as they get older, of course, there's natural logical consequences. And for example, Eden, our second son, one time he had these cockatiels and we told him don't throw them up into the air because their wings were clipped and he forgot and he disobeyed. And so what happened was his cockatiels fell into the pond and they died, they got sick. And the next day when we asked him, you know, Eden, what did you learn from this experience? And because he was an older child by then, the natural logical consequence, he experienced that, you know, the death of his birds. And he said, you know what, mom? The wages of sin is death. Is death. <laughs> so he that connected story. that when you don't obey, there are consequences. And when you obey, there is blessing. Yeah, so again, very important. We need to teach our kids obedience, brings blessing. blessing. I really hope you enjoyed that lesson and values. Next up, we have Teacher Great on mapping your own homeschool curriculum. When you are traveling, you don't want to get lost. When you're traveling to a certain destination for the first time, you need all the help you can get. Maps help us this way. In schooling, such as homeschooling, we also need the curriculum map. What do you plan to cover for this year with your lessons? Are you sure that your lesson for science is integrated with math? Or are they age appropriate? Curriculum map can help you in this way. Curriculum Map addresses learning and lesson redundancies, gaps, holes, misalignments. It is actually a blueprint of what you intend to cover for the entire school year. It also facilitates continuity and lesson accountability. It also addresses the holes that you need to address again and even the frequency of topics that you might have covered over and over and over again. Curriculum Map can help you greatly. It can help you pace your lessons and at the same time, it will direct you to where you need to go. Feeling lost in your curriculum lessons? Let the map help you. Curriculum Map, it will definitely work for you. Happy homeschooling! Coming up, Cheska for Out of the Box. Hello everyone, welcome to Out of the Box. And I am Cheska, and let me show you the coolest and latest learning materials that you can use when homeschooling. For our first feature, I'm going to show you how to bring dinosaurs back to life! Woo! Using only augmented reality flashcards. And here it is! Dinosaur 4D Plus! this, you will need to download a free app either from the App Store or Google Play. Here comes the fun part. Simply place the card in front of the camera and it will automatically scan the image. You can also check out the other cool features like action, www.homeschooltv.ph and on our social media accounts. See you there!